So as I'm launching my real estate career here in Miami, I just caught myself doing something that every new agent does. It's no, the, one of the number one things that actually stalls out a brand new agent's career. And I've been doing this a while and I've already built a team. I've already coached other people on this exact same thing and how to overcome it. And it was actually my wife that just caught me doing it. It's called getting ready to get started to begin. I've spent the last 13 years learning from the most brilliant top producing agents in the country. I became one of them in my previous market, and now I've closed shop and moved to a new market, Miami, Florida. I've taken the plunge into building a $2 million gross commission a year real estate team from scratch, starting out as a new agent in a new town. The question is, how will I do it without relying on money saved or debt completely from scratch? This podcast is here to give you the answer. Join me and follow along as I learn and apply and share real estate agent techniques and strategies using only today's best real estate sales and marketing techniques. My name is Tim Brooks and welcome to Agent to Agent. So what does that mean to get ready to get started to begin? It's actually something that I usually uh, end up as a coaching session with uh, team members that I've had in the past. It's usually something you coach on pretty early uh, because it comes up early in your career and it's something that actually impedes getting actually started or actually taking action. And in real estate, especially when you just get your license, it's particularly, I guess, attractive for a new agent to fall into this because it can be so overwhelming. There's so much information to learn and really what it is, is you don't know what you don't know. So the universe of real estate looks super huge and it's, it's very nebulous. It's hard to kind of get your arms around and you're not really sure what how to get started or what matters and what doesn't. So a lot of agents end up taking a bunch of contract classes and classes on appraisals and stuff like that. And none of that stuff even matters until you have a client. So what really needs to happen is you need to focus on finding clients first and the rest you'll learn as you go. But to get ready to get started to begin means, oh, well, I can't really focus on finding a client. I can't even talk to anyone about real estate or tell anyone I'm doing real estate because, well, I need, I need to get business cards first or, well, I have to go take a headshot or, well, there's a bunch of classes I have to take or I've got to go get set up with a brokerage or this or that. And next thing you know, three months have gone by. You're still paying for the MLS fees and your, your brokerage dues and dues to the, the, the state, national board, and all that kind of stuff. And so these costs start adding up, but there is always going to be something for you to do that really doesn't matter and will not impact your business at all. In fact, one tip I'm gonna give you with this, with the getting ready to get started to begin, is don't even bother with your business cards. Most brokerages will give them to you. I think mine gave them to me. It didn't have my picture on there. I didn't give them any of my information to put on there or whatever, and I got them and I threw them away. I haven't used business cards in over 10 years. And just a pro tip, don't use your business cards either. Don't hand out a business card. It's just giving someone a piece of trash. What you should do instead when someone asks you if you have a card is say, no, I don't have any on me, but here, let me get your cell phone real quick and I'll text you my information. The reason you want to do that is because now you have their information, you can put them in your database and you can follow up with them. You cannot follow up with anyone if you just gave them a business card. So that's just a, a side tip for you. So getting ready to get started to begin means, you know, you're probably going to have to take a headshot or something like that, but don't get caught up in that stuff. Don't get caught up in going to contract classes for six months. There was an agent that I spoke to the other day. She said she was a new agent. I asked her how new was she and how many transactions she had done. She said she had been an agent 
actively for eight months and had not done a transaction yet. Guess where I saw her? I saw her in a contract class. I wasn't even going to the class. I was just in the office and having a bump into her. Uh, so there's so many agents that just, that just get stuck in that mode, uh, like I say, because it can be a very nebulous thing. So one thing that I put together for my own team members, really, just so they could to kind of shrink that real estate universe down to size a little bit, it's just a video on the, the whole fundamentals or kind of a breakdown, a schematic breakdown of a real estate transaction. So it kind of shrinks the real estate universe of what they need to learn into something pretty small and manageable so that they can get over that fear and start getting onto what matters, which is finding clients and being that this is my first week getting going. The only thing I'm thinking about is I need to find clients. So, and my own wife even mentioned to me, Hey, are you getting ready to get started to begin? Even with the podcast, I've been getting ready to get started to begin with that for probably two months, which means I had delayed getting started on my real estate transactions for two months. And I thought about it and I'm like, Oh, nope, you're right. It's probably fear based. It's a little bit of fear of the unknown things like that. So I also fell right into the very same thing that anybody that's kind of new at something and a little uncertain what they should be doing. So watch for it yourself, getting ready to get started to begin. Are you in get ready to get started to begin mode? And if so, just break down what really matters and then break it down into one or two tasks. And if it doesn't lead to you actually meeting people, adding them to your database or finding potential clients, then it probably doesn't matter, especially if you don't have any clients. Anyway, I'm Tim Brooks. Glad to see you here on agent to agent and I'll see you on the next one.